Hello, class. Are you not ready to listen to the best podcast in the world, Luis and Sebas? Podcast? Ready? Podcast? Luis? Ready? Ready, go. Probably not, but there we go. Hello everyone and welcome to our special podcast and I am Luis and I am Sebas. Today we're going to talk about the future, uh, specifically the year 2034, where an expected person becomes a global leader and meets many problems in the world. Exactly Sebas, uh, we find ourselves in a world full of problems and divisions where traditional leaders aren't do, doing a good job of solving them. Yes, but then some Anu comes along with a very different idea. They promise his governing with love, empathy and respect. Yes, and they do new things like improving education and healthcare for everyone and also taking better care of, uh, of the environment. <laughs> yes, bro. And people uh, all over the world support them because we all want the same thing, a better world. Yes, yes. Over time, uh, their way of living changed the world in, a, in incredible ways. Uh, there is not that much fighting and violence and more countries work together. Yes, under their leadership, the world comes together to solve a big problems like poverty and human rights. Yeah, by the year 2034, they are already considered one of the best leaders there has been. People remember uh, them as someone who gave hope and unity in a world that was going through tough times. Mm. Even though they're no longer in office, their influence continues to inspire how many people to work together for a better world. Yes, and uh, to achieve that, they propose six important things, like teaching empathy from a young age and promoting peace instead of violence. Yes, so we look forward to the exciting and hopeful future and with that we wrap up the podcast thanks for being with us yes thank you everyone and see you in the next episode well uh, this was the podcast discussing the video of valentina and juliana we find it a very interesting idea to see the positive side that a benevolent dicta dictator can have their story uh, seemed very interesting to use because it aims to promote peace and set aside wars, uh, promotion the education and the well-being of a people, something that dictators did not usually do in the past. Yes, Luis, yes. Uh, yes, you are absolutely right. We are used to dictators who use it to do the evil, slowing, Mm, their people and taking advantage of them throw trees, torture and instilling fear in their population which makes a people remember them more for uh, bad things mm, they did weird than any good they may have done